Next question. In reference to figure one, which of the following best predicts what will eventually happen to the candles? The answer is this one. And eventually they will extinguish due to a deficit of oxygen. And again, this is one of those things maybe you can infer or figure out from what they give you, but it's kind of one of those things they expect you to know, that it takes oxygen to make things burn. That's why if you blow on a smoldering log, you know, for a little while, you can sometimes get it to flame up again. Like, let's say you have a campfire and it's just about out. If you blow on the log, sometimes you can get it to flame up again because you're adding extra oxygen to it when you blow on it, right? So what's going to happen is the oxygen is going to be turned into carbon dioxide and eventually there won't be any oxygen left. So it may be that the candle blows out or extinguishes just because there's no more paraffin to burn, but it also may extinguish due to a lack of oxygen because if you suffocate the fire by replacing all the oxygen with carbon dioxide, then there's nothing left to burn. And so D is our correct answer.